Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. All right, so I have the um, Electro Retro Spider-Man Wave uh, here. Here's the front, it looks pretty cool. Here's the billboard art here for him. Animated series. Here's the side, nothing going on. Here's the back, same picture, same logo. If you want to pause the video and read this you can and then here's all the figures in a wave here's on um, what to switch hands for the uh, electric fingers and then here's the dcpi uh not much going on, on the other sides uh let's crack this thing open and here's electra out of the packaging he looks really cool um so he comes with well basically one accessory it's one hand for each hand arm electric fingers Looks really cool and they have hinges, so don't have to worry about just keeping them in one spot, but translucent and then just all plastic to make it give, give it that electric feel. And then that's really it. And then here's the comic version of Electro. We do have like an Ultimate Electro figure, which I will bring out for a comparison too, but really classic look. He has that black head there I think black back mask part there and then along the neck too um, and then some details here the gold electric stuff going on down the sides of the legs to the feet really comic accurate and then these are soft plastic and uh, nothing really else. These, this is soft too. So uh, let's go over the uh, articulation for this guy. So his head can move down that far. He can move his head up that far. You get side to side motion. Mm, not really any head tilt. You can get him, his arms move out that far, a little past 90 degrees. You get 360 rotation. Uh, you have bicep swivel, you have double jointed elbows, wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. He has an ab crunch, so you can get him to move down that far, back that far. He has 360 waist pivot there. He has a side kick that far, forward, that's actually really good. Backwards, not much. And then he has a thigh cut, double jointed knees, shin cut. Angles can move down that far, up that far. Really good figure. Um, let's bring out the other electro here. Hang on, look at him. There we go. So as you can see, this one is, the body mold is way different compared to that one. This one's more bulkier, like in the comics, and this one's more like lean from like the ultimate Spider-Man comics, I would say. And then the fingers are blue instead of yellow. And uh, costume is a little bit different, more modern because of the black pants and then suits a little different too. The hands are black too, but uh, the eyes are also different actually for the head part, but same head sculpt, I believe. Yep, same exact head sculpt, just different paint jobs. Yep, same thing. Actually, maybe just a little different. This one I may have like a little bit of a bigger head. It's a little more wider compared to this one. I'm not sure. You could probably swap their heads out just to see. Um, but really good figure. Not much to really say about it. It doesn't have the butterfly joints like this one also. Just almost forgot to mention, I think, if I didn't already mention it. Um, but yeah. That's all I really got for the figure. Let's switch out the hands real quick, actually. So, there we 
here. That's what he looks like with the one of his hands with the electric effect going on there. So really good figure, really cool, but that's all I really got for him. And for today's shout out for reposting this on your story and tagging me and guessing the character correctly, which is Retro Wave Electro, goes to Puff of Customs again. Really good job. Make sure you check him out. He does really cool photos. And then here's tomorrow's reveals. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting Get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.